<laughs> as in, I really felt that uh, I was trying to chase after the client's content, yeah. which was extremely exhausting. So yesterday, when you were saying also that listening is a kind of thinking, actually, what I'm, uh, I also need to find out for myself. Actually, what's this main idea here that I can pick up? What are they really uh, saying that matters to them, but they're not noticing? That one allows him to lighten my own load and lighten their load because of what I reflect. I see the awareness coming in and then that's how the transformation and the shift really happening in the client. Right? So I was like, oh, this time you really <laughs> <laughs> Now, and now you look at this thing that you're able to achieve. Can you tell me, is there anything so difficult about it? I don't know. Like, I was like, why do you think so long? <laughs> it's, it's amazing, right? But I, I realised that it, it took a while for my own mind to shift as well. Mm. Like now that I think back, the competence, the the PTC masters are really there to support the demonstration. Right? Because when I was doing this one, I told myself, okay, I don't want to sound robotic, I don't want to sound physical. So how do I let the competency markers help me to ask the questions I need to ask in a natural conversation? And you can see the difference in the coaching conversation. Yeah, the feel of it is so different. It's like, wow, okay, this is what it's supposed to be. And I wanted to say, I think uh, having experienced this one uh, conversation now in a, in a better way, I see the ACC. I'm like, okay, I know at which part I think the client was in awareness. Then yeah. after that, where is she in terms of clarity? Where is she in terms of voice? Yeah. yeah. And how one supports the other, right? Because it's not just a linear thing. Yeah. And it brings me back to the first lesson of mastery. It's really about that flow. When you start to get in your flow of things and you know how to ride with the waves, then you really feel like you're unreached. Precisely. This whole phenomenon of... It's a phenomenon <laughs> of this Sawubwana. Remember we talk about I see you. Oh, and yes. And you see me and we yes, are yes, here yes. in this space. Yes. And that's why people are lost in a conversation, in a deep conversation. People walk away, you okay. know, from a deep conversation feeling more alive. That the world opens up. But there's a certain tenderness that comes yeah. out of the experience. Precisely. Yeah, out of the I see you and you see me. Yeah, yeah but we re- relate to each other very tenderly. Yes. Yes. My yes. own mind and the way I think and listen has actually shifted. I'm more intentional about what am I listening out for now, even when I talk to people all day. And I ask myself, what's the what's the main thing that what's the main thing that actually people really are concerned about or not? And how they structure their process to like, arrive at that technology. I feel more competent. Um, I feel like, okay, yeah, uh, I can really go out there and say I can support you and help in really listening to you and really helping you make the things you wanted to see for yourself. Great, great, yeah. great, great. 